Hey there, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your general reading for the month of December. We're going to be getting some um, clues from the tarot. How this month will be going in the realms of financial, career, love. Uh, we'll be first taking the temperature of your lives right now. Of course, it's general. Please keep that in mind and only take it if it resonates. Um, we're going to be getting an idea of which Scorpios we're speaking to, and then we're going to be getting advice. If this does resonate, you know the drill. You hear it all the time with these tarot readings. <laughs> Please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. All right, so starting with career, let's just take the temperature. How are you guys? Mm, let's just uh, take the temperature. How are you guys doing? With career. Scorpio, what's going on in career? Okay, possibly an opportunity that fell through, fire that went out, flipping but not flying. There's a clumsiness to the deck. I'm just kind of noting that. Sometimes the behavior of the cards tells you a lot about the reading before you get the cards out because it's all energy, right? All right, I feel that um, this is speaking to the Scorpios who in career and finances possibly lost a job or an opportunity, an idea, a project, something kind of fell through, something you might have put a lot of work into, or maybe you're just fearful that it's going to fall through. But anyway, that energy is showing up in this reading. So we're going to get a few more cards out just to clarify. We've got, yeah. All right. Why are we getting this Ace of Wands, please? Mm hmm. Ace of Wands, please. Why are we getting this Ace of Wands? Yeah. Okay. Why are we getting the Moon card? Well, all this is karmic. I'm just going to say when you get the justice card, it's an indication that things are going to, the cards are going to fall in all the right places. They're all going to, and I know that doesn't always make you feel better, but um, three of wands, where are we getting three of wands here for Scorpio? Got another wands, knight of wands flipping, more wands, 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 wands. Okay, we've got the energy of yeah something falling through a project an exhausting project i feel that like maybe it didn't turn out or there's a fear that it won't turn out in the same way it's, it's put you in a thoughtful place like a, a place of quiet possibly retreating to consider something to reconsider to think um about this the amount of work you're putting into it it's there's a big big statement here with um, the eight of pentacles upside down and then we've got the judgment card and the tower card there's elements of this work venture that you are now recognizing are out of your control now there might for some of you guys this might require moving because i have to say that you know the tower does include that meaning but whenever the tower comes along it's basically a big shake up in your life but not in vain. It's because you need this big shakeup to push you onto the right path. And um, I think there's a, something that you're putting a lot of your time, effort, and, and, and heart into that was not going to pay out the same way that you wanted it to. Like, in, we've got fear that it's, it's going to um, not end in your benefit. And actually, it will. It will. It's there's a fear that it, there will be an imbalance or an unfairness. I, I think there it will be fine. It'll be fair. And in fact, you'll look back at it and be like, wow, it all makes sense. You know, um, there's something you're waiting for. I think there's a, there's a waiting, a sense of waiting with the two of wands here and sticking by your guns, believing in yourself and, and fighting off your own doubts, even the doubts of others, possibly. Why are we getting the Eight of Cups then? Because this Eight of Cups is an abandonment. You know, I think that the Emperor, this is you take, yeah, okay. So this is you taking control finally, okay? So 
In regards to this project or um, this offer, this project not quite working out the way that you wanted to, you take a look at like, wow, that that can be very exhausting when you're putting a lo that much energy. You're gonna get a big wake up call like, whoa, I was putting so much energy into that. There's a sense of waiting, waiting around for something that's not c coming. For a while and this could be an offer this could be um waiting around for individuals to recognize you or for something to this doesn't feel like um emotional that way it doesn't feel like it's as much relationship based as it's circumstantial so it feels like waiting around fighting off your own self-doubts and finally just taking control of the situation being like fuck i'm gonna be my own boss in this situation you know channeling that emperor aries energy that headstrong energy of like i'm taking control i'm gonna I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm leaving what I built, uh, even though it took a lot of energy it, and I faced some fears and all of this. And at one point I really cared. I really threw myself into this. You're going to turn around and you're going to start going towards greener pastures and even the unknown, you know? Um, and I think that there's a, these two cards play a big role in your decision to do so. And let me tell you why. When we, when something falls through, and it was the end of an exhausting chapter, you know, like an exhausting endeavor and the fact that you had hopes and dreams and you pushed yourself or whatever. This is a place of quietly retreating and going inside and thinking about all this and processing it and, and, and accepting it. There's a lot of acceptance there. Um, and then with a tower card, you know, it's now the outs, whereas you have control of this, you have control of your thoughts and your brain and your um, the way that we re we retract from the world and we can control our environment and basically just this is a need to kind of sneak under the covers kick off your shoes turn off the lights go under the covers close your eyes and just like become insular and protective over your thoughts and processing now we've got the tower card and this is coming out doing the absolute opposite so this is a conflict a conflicting energy that one you have no control over the tower and two it's a big wake-up call and it's an important one i think it ends in your favor um is there anything else that scorpio needs to know about this i mean i feel like you are <laughs> i feel like you're giving yourself your own advice i feel like you're giving yourself the right advice you're you're self-sufficient in this case okay so um what does Scorpio do? I mean, let's just see if there's any new cards that come out. What does Scorpio do with in regards to this energy? Awesome. So now we've got the same card. This is the Ace of Wands, but this time it's upright. This is beautiful. Because Ace of Wands is like the flame from a match when you strike it it's this new possibility and it's so strong there's so much potential it's this new idea this new it's an offer oftentimes now if this is a romantic reading this would be like a lusty love offer in the realm of finances and career and money like this is a new job this is a new project this is uh yeah it's really positive so now this is upright so this is new and the new possibility yes you're starting something new a new project arrives i think this is coming at you uh what ace of wands please there we go all right devil energy got capricorn showing up Capricorn energy and wow <laughs> it almost feels romantic at this point <sighs> Empress, devil. This is advice on what Scorpio should do. We've got Queen of Pentacles flying out. One sec. Why nine of cups? Okay, we've got. Knight of Swords flying, but, or flipping, but not flying. So we only take the flyers. This is, um, you're being encouraged not to resist the death of a chapter, death of a phase. Um, it's going to help leave choppy waters, go into smooth waters. There's definitely a project, an offer coming through here, but um, beware of that. Um, you're, be you're being invited to 
recognize how enticing it is. But what does it do to you? Like it is enticing, it looks good. It's, it's, there's almost a temptation attached to it, but also a cycle that it could be giving way to a cycle that you're, is tried and true in a negative sense. Like it's, yeah, you could be locked into an old cycle that you don't want to be in behavioral wise, you know, because we've got queen of pentacles flying on upside down. So it's like this beware going forward in the month of December, Scorpio, that all that glitters is not gold. Like you might be getting an offer or even giving an offer um, that, um, that is going to give way to a behavioral pattern that no longer serves you, you know? I'm gonna just put this back in the deck. It doesn't feel right to take it. It could be, I, I wonder if it's the same thing. It's just coming back at you, like in a new glittery way, <laughs> you know? It feels kind of like that. Like, well, but no, no, no. Like, don't walk away over here. Well, what if we do this and we make these changes? Uh, I gotta say, you're being, in, the cards are encouraging you to keep in mind, these are not reading your future, even though I know and it sounds like I'm telling you that. It's reading the present energy. So the cards are telling you, Scorps, to consider how you feel when you get this offer. Consider your identity within the relationship of this offer. Do you feel abundant? Do you feel giving and strong and all encompassing and talented? I mean, the offer looks good, but do you feel that strength and that abundance um, in your individual person or do you feel the opposite? Because you are also getting the Fool card, which is launching out on something completely new. So clarity on the Fool, totally. Two of Wands. So like this is beckoning you. you is this like you hear your name on the wind? <laughs> you know, like, you know, what's that? What's that possibility? That little sparkle? What? What is that little? That little bell that goes off in my head? What if I explore that? What if I like? take a look at this globe he's holding up this little globe he's holding up while he's looking out at the big world and out at the big ocean between these two staffs but still holding on so he's not going anywhere yet but that little world he's holding up represents his skill set and his hopes and his dreams and what is he capable of doing and creating you built a lot of skills here actually over here you know it was not all in vain you built a lot of skills so how do you take that move forward you know yeah, it, there's you're you're being called to um, allow something to come to an end, even if it, even if there's a little pain involved, or there's some painful words, or some painful truths, allowing something just to come to an end, because ends are necessary, right? When they're necessary, they're necessary. Why are we getting Ace of Cups? Yep, you're being called to uh, recognize what's really an offer, what really pulls your heartstrings, what really makes you feel passion. And recognize, I know this is a big, basically this is around risk and reward, but recognize your identity attached to these things, okay? So recognizing your um, self-worth and your identity when you have certain conversations with old work partners or when you're doing a, a, a certain skill or project with a company and then recognizing how you feel when you start listening to that little bell that goes off in your head that what if because there's something for you to discover there all right you guys i adore you i hope that's helpful and um if it was, please feel free to leave a comment in the description box, or excuse me, the comment box below. I do readings, um, all the information is in the description box. And um, consider liking and subscribing, take care.